coming to question number 25, you have a 51 year old man presenting with marked peripheral edema. His urine PCR is 4.1 milligram per milligram, which means uh, the approximate protein excretion in this guy is uh, around 4.1 grams per day, which is well beyond the nephrotic range. And serum malvin is 2.7, suggesting that this is nephrotic syndrome as such. EGFR is 85 ml per minute, which is okay at least. Renal biopsy is done. Uh, here is your light microscopy on the left and electron microscopy on the right. So technically speaking, electron microscopy, you are clearly seeing fusion of the food process of podocytes. As you can see, uh, these are the podocytes and there is a clear cut fusion of food process of podocytes, suggesting that there is a podocytopathy. And if you look at the light microscopy, it looks completely normal. It's a normal light microscopy. So when you have effacement of food process of podocytes, electron microscopy with a completely normal light microscopy, it indicates a minimal change disease. In fact, electron microscopy is not even required for the diagnosis of minimal change disease. If you have a nephrotic range protein area, but with a normal light microscopy, that itself is going to make a diagnosis of minimal, minimal change disease. So what is the question? Which of the following is least likely to be associated? So we know that NSA is a well-known cause of minimal change disease. Graft as a host disease also have been shown to cause minimal change disease in certain trials. And pembrolizumab, which is an immune checkpoint inhibitor, has also been shown to be associated with minimal change disease. And chronic HBV is not associated. Remember, HIV also sometimes can be associated with minimal change disease, even though the common association is collapsing type of FSGS. Chronic HBV has not been associated with MCD. It's going to produce either membranous global nephritis, which is the commonest form, or it can produce MPGN sometimes. Whereas your chronic HCV on the other hand will produce more of MPGN, especially type 1 MPGN rather than MGN. But again, chronic HCV is also not shown to produce minimal chain disease in general. So right answer for this question is going to be option D. That is chronic hepatitis B virus. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.